surprise! We, we sold, sold our, our truck. truck. What? Hi. Hi, Ellie. Hi, <laughs> Apple. Yeah. Oh, yes. I see. Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh -huh. My name is Jory. Uh -huh. This is my lovely wife. Vitame or B. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Yeah. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on that notification bell so, so you know, know when, when a new video comes out. out. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> she said thank you. Okay, today <laughs> we've got something special. Yes, we do. So, yeah, yesterday we took the truck for the wash and went to the farmer's market and did a few things and it's funny because a couple days ago Bename was like um, we had spoken about putting the truck up for sale and possibly getting a family car and so we I put the truck up on uh, on a, a website and I was like okay there we go and Bename's like maybe we should get it washed like get it detailed inside and out and I was like yeah I guess we should run to the car wash we could use the vacuums there and we could all help clean it up and so she's like we should probably do that so we did that yesterday as you guys saw and uh, wouldn't you know it, that evening um, I had someone call or text and was interested in coming to see it and it looks like they're interested in buying. We are going to go get a rental car uh, until we have a chance to buy something nice for the family. A while ago, one of our subscribers asked about TVs and phones, why our kids don't have phones or we don't want them to have phones right away and why we don't have TV. So here's the thing, we do have a TV, we use it very rarely for movies, uh, some of Ellie's learning stuff is on there. Um, and then we also, Bename and I each have a phone, but the kids don't have phones and we're gonna wait a little while before they have it. However, we're not keeping them from doing fun things and I uh, wanted you guys to have a chance to hear what they have to say about not having screens very much. What do you guys think about not having screens, not having phones and a lot of TV, stuff like that? What do you guys do for fun? We usually, we like to go outdoors and do stuff like playing outside. Sometimes we go to our grandparents' house and go play in the stream or ride go-kart. So that's one thing we do. And then we also have a pen pal now, so we write them a lot. And then usually we like to make stuff outside with nature. Mm -hmm. we have cool. Dogs. So do you guys feel like you're missing out by not having phones or not getting to watch TV every day? No, not exactly. <laughs> sometimes we feel like other kids, like we, sometimes we get jealous of them and then we think, well, it's healthier to be playing more outdoors than to be on screens all day. You mm -hmm. don't want to just become a couch potato. And right. Also, when people are on screens, you don't know what could pop up. There might be crazy ads popping up on your phone and your parents don't know it. Yeah. Okay. So, do you guys ever get to, to watch anything on a screen? Once yeah. in a while, movies. Sometimes we watch one of our favorite YouTube families. Mm -hmm. Other times, on uh, once a month, we do video games. We play one video game for an hour. So like stories, if you're not watching stories, how are you getting like fun stories or how do you get to watch or, or hear about adventures and things? We love to read. I just love the characters in books. I just love like... What are some of your favorite books? Okay, so I really like um, the new book I have, Triple of Thunder All Ranch. It's about a boy that has a blind horse and then this bad guy helped him to heal his horse. That's one of my favorites. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what kind of things do you guys do when your friends come over? What kind of games do you guys play? We tag, we swim, jump on a trampoline, mm -hmm. catch the butterflies, you can catch the most butterflies. Mm -hmm. you can go bee stomping, where you <laughs> find a bee and stomp on it. It's fun. And, then we, and then we pretend that we're making food and we put soap on the trampoline and jump on it. Ooh, so. that sounds fun. So sometimes you go um, to the countryside where your grandma and grandpa are, and what kind of stuff can you do at their house? Play in the stream, ride go-kart. Um, sometimes we get rides on the golf cart. Um, we love to catch animals. We almost caught a chipmunk. Uh, we, when we're outside, we always do racing with, our, with the bike that she has. And yeah, a lot of that kind of stuff. Okay, sounds good. Bye. Okay, so you guys did mention that you really love reading. And that actually leads into part of our video today. 
because we were presented a great opportunity, weren't we, honey? Yes, we were. Um, but first, I wanted to piggyback off on what the children were saying about loving to read. Um, I started them reading like as soon as they were born, I would read to them. And I remember the first time when Bella could kind of talk, I remember I was reading to her like the same book that I always do every night. And like one day I went to read to her after bath and I turned to the page and Bella could start saying some of these things. I was like, she memorized that? <laughs> so it was really interesting. And obviously Jabin did the same thing. And now I'm waiting for Ellie because I we read to her at nap time. There's one book that we read, a Dr. Seuss, something very repetitive. And then uh, at night we can do anywhere between three and five books, the same types of books. So there is definitely a culture of reading um, in our family. Yeah. And um, so yeah, like Jory said, it leads us to the next thing where we were approached by this company called Melanin and Maid about the opportunity to um, talk about their books and services. So we're gonna go ahead and actually unbox that right now so you guys can get to see it. I'm sorry, Ellie does not want to sit still. <laughs> She's fighting me. One. Go ahead, open it. This is mine. It says for Jake. Uh, it says for David. Really? Uh, this one says for El Arbella. Uh, okay, I'll show that to her. Look at that. Okay, I'll show it. Oh. Arbella. Oh, oh, for man. Eliana. Ellie, that's that's oh, just your name. Thank you. Thank you. How it looks. Oh, this is so awesome. Jamin. Thank you. We hope you enjoy this carefully curated selection. So, um, oh, another thing I forgot to say was that Jory and I um, also scan the children's books. So we don't just, even though we go to the library. Here, mommy, look, look. look. <gasps> She's brushing her teeth. Oh. Oh. Um, oh. Even though we might go to the library and have them pick out books, we always look for like language or like the Not content, um, what exactly um, is being taught. So yeah, that is that is hard on Tori and I because I mean the kids just can't yeah. pick up. Yeah, we have a vetting process for yes, our books. <laughs> Oh, Jabin, that's cool, bud. You got a comic book. Oh, Ellie, look. Ellie got three little books. That's oh, that's so oh, cute. So cute. Oh, it's a flip book. Bedtime, Ted. Wow, oh, healthy ah. teeth are strong, bright, and white. So I brush my teeth every morning and every night. Do you do that, Ellie? Yeah. Flip the page. Here's paper. I was the only sixth grader who was an assistant editor and had an article in every issue of the paper, so I saved two copies of each. I resist the urge to carry the box inside so I can reread them, savoring each word like I want to. Reading is vitally important on both a personal and cultural level. Those who can read and read well have opportunity beyond those who cannot. Reading enriches our experience by presenting new ideas and thoughts. It could be said that literacy is an accelerant to the flame of knowledge. What we read shapes our worldview. When a child picks up a book, they begin to view life as the book portrays. Because the mind of a child is essentially a sponge absorbing information from myriad sources at any given moment, it is important that we as parents are intentional about the books we make available to our children. By showcasing protagonists of color, we can help teach our children that heroes come in many skin tones. It is our desire that our children understand their intrinsic value 
and live life with a great sense of purpose. With this in mind, we try to provide books for our children that will encourage and inspire them. Be intentional about the books you provide for the children in your life. Choose to invest in their minds and hearts by immersing them in great literature. All right, guys, so we wanted to give you our honest opinion and review these books and the boxes, the book boxes that we got for Melanin and May. Mm -hmm. So here they are. We got three boxes, mm -hmm. one for each of our children. And the way it works is uh, Melanin and Maid uh, figures out, they want to know what your children's ages are, the gender of your children, mm -hmm. and they will send a customized box with books that they curate, yeah. that they go and find for your children, for their age, for their nationality and ethnicity. Something that the protagonists in the book will uh, make your children feel like they're part of the book. Right. Where they, they remind them of themselves. Mm -hmm. So if you're a family, um, you want something for someone who looks Indian or mm -hmm. um, you know from India or Native American mm -hmm. or Chinese, uh, Asians. Latino, mm -hmm. Asian, um, yep. mixed kids, uh, biracial, you know, yeah. black kids. Like it's important, I mean, yeah. and we'll talk more about it, but it's important that they not only see children of, of white or other races or right. nationalities, ethnicities, mm -hmm. it's important that they see protagonists that look like them. That look like them. Yeah. yeah. So this is something we really like. Right. The whole idea of Melanin and Maid having books chosen, curated for your children, books through brown eyes. It's such a good thing because we want to build a broader perspective of ethnicity, of culture, mm -hmm. and of life for, mm -hmm. for these children growing up. And even if your kids aren't fitting into one of these categories, right. it would be right. fantastic for yeah. them to read more books about people of other cultures, religions, understand what people are like, um, to know what's in the world and what's out That's there, right. what other people are like to be able to identify with them. Yeah, think of it like Barbie dolls, like especially for the girls. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we want to make sure the girls have all sorts of Barbie right. dolls. So with that books, beauty doesn't have a color. Right. right. So with books, we tend to just kind of accept the norm. Right. Versus, let me diversify right. your reading selection as well. Mm -hmm. So um, Melanin made. Um, I'm happy that yeah. she contacted us, right. or they, the company contacted us, wanting to um, partner up with us right. to bring this to our subscribers. Right. We're really yeah. excited about this opportunity. It's something yes. we really can get behind. Yes. Uh, Melanin and Maid does books and boxes for ages uh, baby all the way through young adults. Adult, yeah. So as you give the age of your, you know, the child you want to buy this right. for, she takes the effort out of it. Mm -hmm. Melanin and Maid and Chinwei, who, who is the owner there, they do such a great job of going out and finding these books. Yep. So just let them know they'll find it and get it shipped to you. <laughs> yeah, we've created a culture of reading in our home, for it, sure. It came at a perfect time because our library is closed. Yeah, so in-person visits, it's yeah, closed. You so, have to order online. And, and there's a waiting list. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, they were getting so tired of their old books. Mm -hmm. We wish we had new books. So Jory was going and making a list of all these books they wanted to order. <laughs> and then things just happened and we couldn't get to them. So when Melanin and Maid approached us, we're like, oh, this is great. <laughs> right. And I'm just remembering one other cool thing about uh, working with Melanin and Maid is you can actually get a subscription. Oh, that's right. You, you can do more than a one-time thing. You mm -hmm. can get a subscription so that you're consistently getting new books. new books and and I read that they try to pull from a recent supply of books from within the last two years mm -hmm. of new books if possible that's right so you're getting recent uh, literature for the children so if you guys our subscribers would also like to get your share of melanin made mm -hmm. books. we have a great offer for you yes so we are gonna go ahead and link uh, the way to get to the website and make a purchase from Melanin Made, and if you want 10% off, just use the coupon code Majestic Family. <laughs> so if you go visit Melanin and Made through the link in the description, in the description, make box. sure you use the coupon code Majestic Family, mm -hmm. all one word, mm -hmm. Majestic Family, and you'll get 10% off your purchase.
And we think this is a fantastic thing for our crew because yes. uh, the Majestic family, all you guys, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like this is right up your alley. That yep. this is we're on the same page with this, Supporter. and it's something. It's something really good. Mm -hmm. Literature is fantastic, mm -hmm. and understanding other cultures is great. And so many times, mixed kids, Latino kids, mm -hmm. Asian, Native American, I mean, black, uh, these kids want to see these People. books that yeah. are like them. And yeah, it, yeah. It'll open their minds and eyes. I think it's good. Yeah. So, um, it, these books are also awesome for as gifts. They make great gifts. Right. Just keep in mind, because it's so personalized mm -hmm. that... Um, you need to give the company time right. to make sure they give you the quality books that you're looking right. for. If you want to get a box or sign up for um, a subscription. subscription, the link is in the description Check box. Check the link in the description. Make sure you use the um, coupon code Majestic Family to get 10% off. So shall we get back to the vlog? All right. Uh, we are going to continue with our day. Oh, Did you tell them about the truck? Yes, yeah. I was telling them how you had mentioned we should get it washed since yeah, we're putting it up. randomly. Yeah. <laughs> like, we need to wash the truck. Yeah, and day. that day, oh. we got a call. The guys came and looked at it, and they want to buy it. Oh, yeah, you so. actually thought it was the microwave. Someone yeah, was I was also trying to sell a microwave, and someone was like, can I come see it tonight? I was like, sure, you can come. Oh. <laughs> and then they're like... What did they say? All of a sudden I was like, oh, they're talking about the truck. <laughs> <laughs> so, they're supposed to be here this morning, but we have to go. Did you tell them what we're yeah, yeah, I told them we we're going to go grab a rental car um, so we can drive that until we have a chance to get a family vehicle. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Shall we go? Thank you, Melanie and Maid. Yes, thank you so much. All right, we're on our way to go get our rental car. So, uh, I guess the trip home will be the truck's last trip with us. Yeah, because the, um, the buyer wants to actually come earlier to pick up the vehicle, to pick up the truck. Right, yeah, we actually just got a call, didn't we? Yeah. Just got a call from the buyer and he's like, can I come earlier? I'm like, yes, but I just need enough time to get our rental car <laughs> or we'll be walking everywhere. <laughs> right, honey? Yeah. So yeah, we're on our way to get the rental now, and as soon as we get back, they might already be there. Right. And we'll ship this big red on down the road. Oh. <laughs> We've had some memories, haven't we? Bittersweet. Yeah, it's a little bittersweet <laughs> to see her go. Yeah, not all the memories have been good. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, we'll see. See what the next one is. I'm excited. Ready for a ride in your rental? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have fun. Where's the uh, model three going to? Uh, okay, we're headed home from picking up the rental. Biname and Arabella are in the rental car, uh, a couple cars back, and Javen and I and Ellie are riding here. You back there, bud? Yep. Hey. I moved this side, actually. You moved sides, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bella and Mama. There it goes. No. I'm not there goes the truck. No. Are you sad to lose Big Red? Yes. <laughs> Very. On we to the next car. thing. We got our rental. We're gonna use that for a little while. Javen, don't don't car. use that door, bud. There's there's something don't there. Touch, don't use that door, bud. Thank you. Don't you touch my car. It's not your car. It is my car. <laughs> so, hey guys, we are at a car dealership looking for a vehicle because we sold our Hi. truck. Hi. <laughs> so, it is hot. Joy's test driving car number two. The first one didn't work out so well. So, we are test driving one last one before we have to go back. Let me take the paper off you. We have to be at Joy's mom for supper, so we need to make a quick car purchase. So anyway, we wanted to give you guys a quick update. And this is warm, so that's why she's acting this way. Can you say hi? Hi. Say how are you? 
Say how are you? Can you say how are you? Are you good? It's hot. Yes. So the kids are right. We sold the truck and went shopping for a new family car today, as you saw. However, however, comma, we did not find a perfect match <laughs> for our family. Oh, so exhausting. <laughs> so we have a rental for a week. Hopefully that's enough time to land a fantastic new ride. Yes. A new whip Nene. for the fam. Whip, whip. That's old school. Yeah, it's a little old. Yeah, we, um, <laughs> we hit the road to find a vehicle. We did not find one. We hunted a few. And it was hot. It was. It was and incredibly it, hot. Yeah, it was a little hot out there. And then we went to Jory's parents' house and totally forgot to film. Oh, sorry, guys. The kids did go karting. We rode go kart, yeah. And then Ellie went on a ride with your mom, right? On the, um, what do you call it? Golf? Golf cart? Mm -hmm. Golf cart. Yeah. So, and then I slept because I was so tired. Yep. <laughs> I stayed inside and just slept. So, that was our day. So, this was our first ever partnership as well. So, right. this vlog was extremely meaningful. Yes. So, we had a chance to do a little promotional video mm -hmm. uh, with our first review included for ah, Melanin and Maid. Yes. Check we were them out. so excited about this opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, Chin Wei does such a great job at Melanin and Maid. Mm -hmm. uh, what a great idea. Mm -hmm. What a great way to get fantastic books into the hands of young readers so that their minds can blossom and grow into maturity. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching us sell, surprise, selling our truck and partnering with Melanin and Made us. So Make you sure guys. you check out the link in the description below. In the description And when you get to the below. website, uh, go ahead and use the coupon code Majestic, Majestic Family, Family, all yes. one word, and get your 10% off your first purchase. Mm -hmm. Tell your friends point. about it. Yes. And let's support this fantastic idea. Mm -hmm. And with that, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up. Hold on. What? I had to say something. Okay, Go ahead. I am dark and lovely. Do not stare at me because I am dark. <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh, is that in verse Peter, Song of Solomon? No. Song of Solomon 1 <laughs> verse 5 through 6. <laughs> <laughs> that no, is that, Bella. <laughs> She's and with reader. that, dear friends, <laughs> keep, keep looking, looking up. up. <laughs> You're so funny.